Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I got a slightly different video and it is a cleaning video. Actually, it's kind of like a review of this Chamberlain's Leather Milk products um, that I got as a birthday present from my husband. And I've been having fun with it. I've been just been experimenting with um, these formulas. So this came in a set and so it's a set of three. The first one is formula number one and it says um, conditions and rejuvenates leather and there's formula number oops it's number three <laughs> formula number two and it is um, a cleanser so it's a straight cleaner it permeates leather with gentle cleansers and then this is formula number three it's a water protectant um, penetrating oils and waxes that protect leather so um, I've done it to a couple of my bags um, just to try, see how I like it and the difference between this and the Cadillac um, cleaner that I have. Um, I think Cadillac is very popular. Um, it's a cleanser, well not cleanser, it's like a conditioner slash cleaner um, in one. And I've had that for years and I've, I'm almost out of it, that's why I got this as a gift. This one also came with... Um, like a sponge so let me just get it I'm sorry if the camera's moving so this is like the, the sponge it comes in it comes with and it's just like a sponge with a like kind of like terry cloth all around um i've used this one as well as just a microfiber cloth and just some rags to apply the product and it's it's been really good so far the le the the thing that I like about these is that they they, sm they all smell good they have a very slight scent um, especially this one this one kind of smells like pine almost um, this one smells like almond and this one I forget what it smells like but these two are really good smelling they're not very pungent and then they're very gentle on hands I've never had to wear gloves um, when I'm doing my conditioning and cleaning so and it hasn't dried my hands out or done anything weird to it so I'm really happy um, let's see the first one that I ever did um, I ever conditioned and used these products on was my 9966 which is, let me just pull that out so this is my legacy legacy zip 9966 um, from coach this is a vintage bag I dunked this I conditioned it and I I did all that stuff I actually have the footage but I just been procrastinating um, into splicing it if you guys know any like very very easy um, video editing tool let me know because I don't edit my videos and yeah so it just turned out very well so the metals all um, polished up with Brasso and when I after I dunked this I right before it completely dried I actually put this number one um, number one cleaner or number one conditioner so this one applies very thinly um, it's not a wax so this one the the bag just absorbed it without any uh, without any problems whatsoever all of this um, all of this cleaners cleansers um, conditioners they the instructions say apply them thinly and then let it dry and then apply them again thinly if you if it needs if the leather needs it or as much as the leather can hold so I did this once for this bag and then I let it dry and then after it dried um, I noticed that it still needed more conditioning so the leather was still a bit stiff so I went into number three and number three is the wax and oils so this one is more um, I wouldn't say it's thicker but it's just more oily than the the number one so this one applies like um, let me just show you the other one's kind of like a lotion this one's kind of like a it's almost clear oops it's not coming out but it's almost just clear um, when it comes out but it's really like the the cap is a bit oily when I'm feeling it right now it's a bit oily so that's that's really the penetrating oil um, that's on the formula number three and I, I apply this to the bag several times like probably 
four or five times because I, I wasn't satisfied with um, how soft it got. So I just kept applying, kept applying it and until I got to this point where I'm happy with it. So sorry, the camera's focusing there. So that's my 9966 and it worked out, worked out really well. Um, especially with the with a strap like it, this is like so soft it's back to its original softness so I'm really pleased with how it turned out now let's go back to number two number two is the um, the cleanser so it says there permeates leather with gentle cleanser so I was um, curious as to whether it cleans um, spots on bags and I have the perfect candidate for it which is my uh, I believe this is the Ergo Zip and it's got it's in pretty good condition when I got it I got this pre-loved but it did have a tiny spot over here I believe I don't know if it's uh, it's not there anymore because I cleaned this one already there was a tiny spot there and then there was a tiny spot on the other side of the bag now it's spotless. There's absolutely no marks on this bag. Um, the cleanser says it won't do indelible ink. So say, you know, a pen mark or a Sharpie mark, then of course you can't get it out. But um, with some elbow grease, you can get tough stains out. And I've done this, I've done it to this bag and it turned out beautifully. It didn't take any le any color off or didn't rub off the leather, the grain of the leather, nothing. It just took the stain out and then it dried beautifully. So I'm really pleased with that. And that's my white bag that's now pristine again. I'll just put it away for a sec. And I also tried it with my Michael Kors Eva. Um, this is an old bag. It's it's probably how, how old is it now? Five years old probably. I've used the heck out of this bag. I've never cleaned it um, until <laughs> I got the set. So you see that there's uh, stains on here in this part, the yellow. That part. It used to be more prominent. It used to be like you can really see it um, even without looking close. It was a big stain. And it had uh, another big stain over here in the side. Now it's barely even visible. I don't. I think I got all of it. Let's look at the other side. Maybe it was on, the, on this side. Nope, I can't see anything either. So, yeah, the one on the side cleared beautifully. Um, it was kind of the same stain as what this one was. I don't even remember what this stain was from. So... And then on the bottom of the bag, I had like blackish, not blackish, but like grayish um, staining. Probably from water, from where I set the bag down. Um, there was staining there and then it just cleaned up really beautifully. Like I, I didn't even have to really, really try hard. Um, this is the only one that I can't get out, but I, I will go back to this one when I have the time and then just put some more elbow grease into it. And this one you can really go hard on because it's Safiano leather, so it doesn't even scratch <laughs> at all. So you can really like put pressure on it and it will be fine. So after they did the cleanser, they recommend go with number three, which is the, um, the oil. So I oiled this one and now it feels much softer. And the strap feels much softer as well. I did clean the whole bag because I've never cleaned it ever, uh, like ever, ever. <laughs> so there. So that's, uh, yeah, I'm really, really pleased with the Chamberlain's products, um, especially for the cleanser. I feel like now I can own more light colored bags. <laughs> anyway, um, so last bag I want to show you is my... OG bag, my Balenciaga City. This is um, from circa 2011. I've had this bag ever since. Um, I try to sell this one many, many times. I've ha I have a love-hate relationship with this one because it's very... Um, it's. I like the style. I love the design, especially with the, the big thimbles, I call it. 
Um, this is, it's got rose gold hardware, it's called Dark Knight, it's a dark blue. But now, when you see it, it's really old and beaten up, like it's dried up. You can see lighter, wider parts um, in the front. So I, I didn't do the front just to show you what it looked like before. So this is the front. Now, I did do the back with number one, Chamberlain's number one. And on camera, it's showing as a, as a wider, but it is actually like darker in person. Um, yeah, there, you can see. And it feels much softer. The leather feels much softer as if it just got like a whole heck of a lot of conditioner, but it was just number one and it was just, just one coat too. Um, also the handles, the one handle I did number one. And it's like you can't, like, I feel like you can't see the lines um, as much, so I'll come think of a comparison shot. So uh, on the right is the non-conditioned part or non-conditioned handle. On the left is the conditioned handle, and you can see how much it drank the the conditioner. So yeah, and this has dried for probably two days now. So this is it like this is the final product I'm, I'm not even applying any more to it because um i think it's just it's it's good now it, it only needed one coat now on this side i noticed the um what do you call this one the binding of the bag um it ha it's very dry like especially around this part because the zipper the zipper rubs onto this when it's when it's like this. So I did do one coat of uh, number one, and then I just did a number three on this, and I think it looks better now. So yeah. So anyway, before the baby cries, um, that is my little experience review with Chamberlain's. Um, I'm hoping to get more um, projects out of this, especially with the number two and number three combo. Um, for restoring old bags that have just, you know, just need some love. And yeah, I hope you guys um, like this video. Um, if you want to see the restoration of, uh, I, I have a new bag coming that's uh, more beaten up and it's white. So I'm going to do this combo and I hope I can show that to you and hope I can edit my videos by then. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys. See you guys later. Bye.